So live Doppler radar shows widespread rainfall moving north into the Panhandle, Alabama, Mississippi, and that's due to what may soon be Tropical Storm Cindy. Right now it's just a tropical wave. We have Brett out there, which we'll go into in just a second, but this is closer. This affects us much more. Let's focus on this first. Here is the system in general, not very well organized. Rainfall, cloud cover everywhere. Here's the center of circulation. So the center of circulation is not even near where all the activity is, all right? And that's why we're still feeling the effects, even though the center is so far to the west. It's expected to move to the northwest, make landfall somewhere between Texas and Louisiana. Notice the winds aren't going to be too high. So while it's expected to become a tropical storm, winds will be at 45 miles per hour. Maybe if they get higher, 50 or 55, but it's expected to stay a tropical storm as it moves to the northwest and then taper off once it moves to the nation's interior because at that point it's going to be far away from the warm water that serves as fuel. So as it moves to the north we'll still see some tropical moisture pushing in but by tomorrow just a typical summer day. Afternoon flare-ups possible and that's about it. You know, typical stuff. Then we have Tropical Storm Brett. Here it is by the Antilles. Winds are at 40 miles per hour, moving to the west-northwest at 21. This is expected to dissipate in the next couple of days as it encounters very high wind shear that's just going to rip at the shreds. So somewhere Wednesday or Thursday, it's going to fizzle out here. We'll just see remnants of Tropical Storm Brett. Short-lived storm, and because this intensified to a tropical storm first, that system in the Gulf will likely be Cindy. 